Yeah, I gotta spend some money today. We hustle daily. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Big Play Ray, coming to y'all with another video, man. We got a couple of things on the agenda today for today's video, but if you're here just watching, man, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. Hit the notification bell so y'all can join the Hustle Nation and y'all can be a part of the Hustle Nation. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole movement going on to all the hustlers worldwide. Shout out to all the hustlers worldwide, man. We got a movement going on, but Again, man, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, wehustledaily.co. If y'all haven't done so already, make sure y'all follow your boy on the gram. And make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com if y'all want to learn how to check out cars and pick out cars at the auction. Even if, you don't try, even if you're not trying to pick out cars at the auction, I got a basic package on there for y'all where I'm just teaching y'all how to uh you know inspect cars period you know how to use the scanner and everything you might be trying to buy a car off craigslist or facebook marketplace or something like that again i don't want matthew selling you no lemon and now you're trying to call matthew back like hey matthew after i drove off the lot my uh check engine light came on matthew gonna hang up on you because that's what i do you should have known how to you know what i'm saying check out cars you know what i mean but you know what I'm saying? So I got the basic package on there for y'all, for y'all who want to learn how to do that. And then I got the full curriculum if y'all want to learn everything I know when it comes to this auction game. Because again, I keep telling y'all, y'all know cars are in the auction because they are messed up, right? A lot of them. So, you know what I'm saying? Look like the lot is full over here. You know what I mean? We got some dealers here and all these cars been here, folks. Listen, this is what happened when you don't go for whdacademy.com. Y'all can go back and look at the videos. But that damn whole row over there been here. This damn whole row damn near here been here. Like, these two are new. You know what I'm saying? But look at them. They look... I'm sorry, guys. So I'm not sure if y'all watch my videos or not. But it just... I'm sorry. But yeah, if y'all want to learn how to do that, you know how all your shit just sitting here at the lot. All right. Just go to the auction and buy something. Don't get whdacademy.com. Then you're going to be looking crazy. But I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I get down. I big play race selling cars in the day. <clears throat> Man, so we got the white Impala right here. I don't know if I want to call this car whitening or if I want to call it Paula. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments below. But um, so I was about to just wash the car because as you can see, the car is super filthy, guys. Like, look at the dirt. Can you see it? Hopefully, y'all can catch that on camera. It's kind of, and I know you see all that and everything. But um, I was about to sit here and wash it, but I'm like, man, I really don't even feel like it. Maybe I should just, um, then you can see all the bugs, the paint chipping and stuff, man. It's carbon on the road, man. But yeah, man, uh, I was thinking about painting the, um, see the bow tie is gold. I was thinking about painting the calipers gold as well. See, I need some new hubcaps too. And because you can see that the little Chevy, Chevy, Chevy symbol is also gold right there, man. But if y'all check the car out, man, this boy needs some TLC. Definitely some TLC. I mean, you can just see the dirt and everything. So we about to go ahead and get this boy cleaned up. I was about to do it here at the office, but I think I'm about to just take this boy do, through a drive through I got a meet up with my boy Bruce. Bruce is buying um, some type of, I don't know what he's buying. It's probably going to be in a thumbnail though, but he's buying a car from like a private party. He gets to somebody he knows. I'm going to run them down the price and everything for you guys, you know what I'm saying? So this is not going to be an auction buy, but first thing first, man, we got to get the car cleaned up, man. Whitening, Paula, I don't know what I want to call it. Again, y'all let me know in the comments below which name y'all like better. I know you're not can't really i don't care about changing no name if i want to change the name i change the name but all right man let's go ahead and get right into it and um yeah i think i'm gonna see y'all in the drive through though yeah perfect perfect but I done been out the car like twice already. Yeah, twice. Um, 
that tire right there keeps going down as you can see it's like 31 right now um i hit a pothole and yeah so i call it the nearest walmart and we're going to go ahead and get another tire hopefully i didn't bend the rim or anything like that or you know what i mean quarter mile, turn left onto US 78 West. thank you for that but uh yeah so um i'm gonna be we're gonna go to bruce house but we're gonna go ahead and get this tire fixed first see what's going on because i keep losing air and we can't have that but we are only five minutes away from the walmart which is where i got the other two tires from because I, I know y'all remember i went to the uh walmart to get two tires and that is the tire the last bad tire so at least it happened to that tire and you know what i mean not the other one so yeah man we're about to go to walmart and get this changed out and uh yeah i gotta spend some money today all right arrived here to walmart and this is the tire which this tire was also kind of bad already as you can see compared to all the other ones so let's go ahead and get this uh done before somebody get in line before me all right i forgot to show y'all the wash too the wash looking good and as you can see all the other tires are good yeah man they want me to go ahead and pull the car up so let's go ahead and do that man i can't believe man i got the car washed and everything and now oh, i gotta spend some god dang on money because of fucking street well, it's my fault i should have dodged that shit so just can't blame nobody but myself man Damn, I ain't want to spend no money. But like I told y'all, I did have to spend the money anyway because, um, well, I wasn't going to spend the money. I ain't going to lie. Because y'all remember I got this tire and I got that tire. This tire right here came on the car right here. Well, I mean, came already like pretty good, as you can see. But y'all can check out the wash, though. You know what I mean? I don't got all about the wash and everything. That thing is way cleaner. It's not the best. I didn't put the tire shine on it or nothing. But yeah, so this is the only Mitch Match tire right here. But it's going low. It's not going low fast, but it's going low. So let's see what it is. See if we got to buy a new tire or what. All right, guys. And it looks like we're going to be getting a brand new tire today because. They got some kind of policy where they said they can put the tire back on and all of this and all that or i don't know damn maybe i should just go somewhere else now that i'm sitting here thinking about it should i just go on and get the damn tire man and stop being cheap hmm. i'm gonna get a tire anyway i'm gonna just get the tire y'all i ain't gonna be cheap i done bought other two I could take it somewhere else and they, you know, look at it and probably if it's a seal on the side or something, they could probably just like seal it up and I can keep riding. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll just go on and get the new tire, man, because might as well, man. Damn, I ain't want to spend no money. Shit. All right, we're just going to go ahead and do it, though. Alright, thank you. You need the keys are in it, right? Yes, ma'am. Alright, I'll get pulled in for you. Alright, thank you. Alright, man. So we're gonna go ahead and get the tire, y'all. Um, I got all the other ones done, so I might as well get this one in. We're going back with the the Viva 3 from where is it? Yeah, good year. Y'all see it. So yeah, man. I gotta wrap that thing up, you know, because of the pandemic going on but all right guys they're gonna get me taken care of i'll see y'all when we come out this joint all right hustle nation and he did not help me because the rim is bent i wish i could have showed you guys on camera but when they were showing me i was just like in tune with what was going on so i need a new rim man i bent the rim pretty bad they are not allowed to uh beat it out at that location at the walmart so what we're about to do we're about to go to one of these other um tire shops i think it should be one probably this way hopefully 
and um yeah we're gonna get this thing beat out man and uh we're probably gonna invest in another rim on ebay because um damn i'm really about to have to spend a lot of money guys that's crazy <coughs> man but uh yeah uh let me see if i can find another tire shop who can beat this out for me we're not gonna buy a new tire today and if we cannot get this done man we're just gonna have to put the spare tire on and be looking crazy for a couple of days until my ebay rim come in because i'm not sure where i can get a rim like this because they uh aluminum or alloy or whatever the hell they call man wheels so um yeah i'll catch you guys when i uh find me another tire shop it should be one exactly matter of fact right up here so we'll see what they got for us and all right guys they're gonna get us together man as you can see where we're at man they're gonna go ahead and get me together y'all can come down here and check them out express tires um we're on what's that atlanta highway and i don't know what road this is but y'all can um uh, that's where we at right now man they got a couple little wheels out here today but most importantly they said that they can uh hit my wheel so i'm gonna wait till he get done and we'll see what we got it worked out yeah so no leaks yep. all right thanks man all right y'all see it so we're about to get this buckled up let me go ahead and get this paid for no leaks man y'all can come down here and check them out man they go to number everything they got me together so hopefully we don't have no more leaks and uh we should be good to go so let's get it uh head to bruce house see if you ready and all right man let's get on this road and see what we got here I actually need to get me something to eat. So where is the food? Oh, it's actually this way. Even though I had some of this yesterday. Get it again. But y'all see it, man. Hold on. Turn all this off. We got 41 PSI. The um, PSI is kind of high. So I'm going to get out when I get some food and, um, you know, um, you know, let some air out of it. But let's see when we get on this road, man. And this is... Uh, Atlanta Highway in old Loganville. So that's where we at, man. So y'all see it. Hopefully uh, it doesn't go out because you can really tell like when you drive. So um, hold on, they moving. Let's see. And we still haven't even went to Bruce House yet. All right, let's see. Car is still coming, baby. We're just gonna keep it rolling. All right, let's see what we got, man. Hopefully we ain't got no wiggle or anything like that. And I do not think this is the way for the food. It looks good, y'all. Looks good. So far, so good, man. It's gotta definitely be working because um, it would have definitely went down by now. So don't look like I spent any money today. Probably, honestly, not going to spend any money. I'm going to drive this around and see if it's got, you know, any, I can feel anything on the highway or anything like that. But if I don't, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably not going to buy a tire or a rim. But let me give me something to eat. All right, guys. So made it over here to bruce crib man so he had got the van and he had got this we're going to be taking this on our way to get the malibu right now um so we're about to check the malibu out but i can just show you all this car real quick he picked up from the auction check out that white thing right there looking shining y'all see the watch don't y'all yeah but yeah we didn't end up getting a tire or whatever but i'm saying y'all can check it out he just got this window put in so window is good to go now which is cool. This boy got good tires all the way around, everything. So y'all see it. But yeah, man. Um, make sure y'all follow my boy on YouTube and Instagram, Phantom Mobiles, man. So yeah, man. We about to get on the road, man. Um, oh, I guess I can show y'all this van real quick too. You know what I'm saying? I got this van, 154,000 miles on it, 2007. Y'all see it? Got the good tires on it. Um, 
How big? Let me see. Oh, he is over there. So, he's probably going to be working out this van, y'all. So, y'all see it. <coughs> so, yeah, y'all see it. Close, close that good. So, yeah, man. So, we about to go ahead and pick this uh, Malibu up. 500 bucks. So, I'll see y'all when we get there. Got a Chevy Malibu. Bruce about to buy this boy. He said something's going on with like the uh, ignition. You said something going on with like the ignition? Yeah. Damn, all the tires are good. Well, the tires are alright. See the spider webs? Can y'all see the spider webs? How you doing, boss? You alright? I'm Ray. How you doing? Alright, man. Y'all see it though. Nice, clean. Uh, I'm not sure how many miles on it. I think it's like, I'll look at the cat. Black cat. Is a black cat good luck or bad luck or what? Let me see. Try to rock this joint. 500 bucks. Says something going on with the ignition. You know, these people, they don't, I guess, know too much about cars. So, boy, Bruce gonna take it and fix it and flip it, man. And, um... Damn, I think I just heard him say that uh, it's got a recall on it. So they'll do it for free. So I don't know. I'm going to ask Bruce about it. But uh, let's see if they're going to crank it. Because uh, we actually going to drive this home. Because uh, Bruce dro drove the Grand Marquis. So we're going to drive this to the crib. And uh, yeah, see y'all when we get on the road or whatever. What are you doing? Hey, you two guys. He's still. Yes, he took us. Yes. I don't know you guys. I don't know this guy. Alright, my boy Bruce got the jump box out, but look how goddamn big this trunk is in the Grand Marquise, man. This is crazy. Look, it got the big old hump right there and all this down space. Like, damn, can y'all see that though? Like, damn. But all right, you about to get this boy cranked, man. Well, she has, man. I put it in the transmission with this kid. For real? Yeah, on that cutlass. Yeah. Yeah, man. Remember that? That cutlass. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right in my dad's garage over there in uh, Northfield Court. I had to, and I actually had to drop it twice because they did some work to it. And I put it back in there and it still wasn't right. It actually was like, they did some work with the transmission on the internals, I guess. I don't know what they did. Yeah. I wasn't really up to date on it, but they were supposed to do something. They did. They re, they re, they re, I guess they rebuilt the transmission, uh -huh. but they didn't need all that. Like, uh -huh. so they probably just. I think. What I think what they did at the time. Now I'm thinking the back on. I think they just redid like the pan or something. Yeah. 
and they didn't really fix the problem. Like I needed a torque converter, so I ended up having to drop that mug again and um, had to go back with it. But it worked out in my favor because they charged me for something and it was actually something more severe. So I got to pay uh, the price for, I can't remember what it was. I think it was a rebuild or something. It was something that it wasn't related to what I needed. And I got a break on it. But I had to drop that transmission twice. <laughs> Yeah, man. That was my first time doing it too, but I figured it out, man. All right, did you bring the drip box? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's probably. I think that's right. oh, okay. All right, man. Let's crank this thing up. Yeah, see it's on like got. a GM terminal, man. It's so narrow, man. Hard yeah, look at that. That's cheap. Isn't oh it? yeah, and yeah, yeah it is. Jump box. It's fucking champion, right on it. It's like what the hell? It ain't the battery. It's the uh, actual. It's a chassis with these little, that's how GM do their cars or something. It's hard to get a good connection on it. Oh yeah, you're right about those. You're right about that, it's my fan. But it's ain't me trying to get them off. Couldn't even, I couldn't do it. No, I'm still doing I had to wing Damn, that, man. Champ, into you had these to wing that here. big time. Damn, you were doing like trash. Me. Whatever saw hey. might fit in there. <laughs> Just drop got it. it right, man. You have, you have. Huh? Oh, you might got it. Got it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh. Okay. Let's see, first crank, y'all. <sighs> no power yet. Still no power? Nah. Uh -huh. Two hundred and eighty-two thousand miles. So y'all, let me know if y'all think that's gonna be a good deal. Five hundred bucks. Some going on with the ignition. He said. So like, yeah, I guess if you like turn it off, the car won't shut off or something like that. I'm not sure. Looks like it got some uh, power steering. Power steering. Ain't nothing in there, yeah. Yeah, man, y'all see it? Y'all see it runs? So, turn the wheel. But yeah, man, y'all see it though. So. But you know, for the price, what do y'all think, man? Power steering pump. Power steering pump, you know. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. But the car looked like it's in pretty good condition, you know, from the inside and everything. But y'all let me know, man. So I'll see y'all when we on the road in this thing. Cause, uh, yeah, we're going to have to drive it home. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get on the road, man. But y'all see the car. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about the price, man. But, um, yeah, y'all see it, man. Ain't about to buy this boy. So, y'all let me know in the comments below. And, all right, guys, man. Uh, you know, they want to sit there and, uh, what you call that, uh, conversate and all of that. You know, I'm ready to go. You know, your boy Ray ain't ready to go, man. So I had to get up out of there, man. So I'm in a Marquise right now, about to drive home. Uh, he let me take the Marquise. Um, so yeah, I think he paid like $600 for this. He got 207,000 miles. I don't know the year, y'all. Whatever year this was, y'all seen the car. So whatever body style this is, 02, 03, something like that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about the deal that he got, man. Something about the ignition keep messing up. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's supposedly run and drive. It got a good uh, sticker on it as far as like emissions and everything. So, you know, uh, next year to May 20, May 2021, 20, 20, damn. 
So yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think though. Y'all think that was a good deal? He gonna, you know, it got 280,000 miles, but you know, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. I'm always uh, down to hear y'all opinions or whatever and what y'all think. So y'all make sure y'all drop a comment, but man, make sure y'all like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure y'all hit the notification bell if y'all haven't done so already. Make sure y'all hit that bell for your boy so y'all can be updated when your boy upload a video, which is every single day, man. Y'all know I give y'all them bangers every single day. Big Play Ray giving y'all them videos every single day, man. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram if y'all haven't done so already. Y'all can hit me up on the gram, wehustledaily.co. And uh, y'all already know, man, whdacademy.com if you don't want to end up buying a lemon from the auction or a private party. You see what I'm saying? So this is a good example or some you could have you know somebody could have be trying to sell you and you don't even know what you buying and you go over there and buy a lemon you know what i'm saying we're you know we know about cars so we you know we can you know buy stuff like that you know but you might buy something from uh william off off craigslist and shit your shit check your check engine like come on as soon as you make a right off his damn street because you ain't know what you was doing so y'all better get that basic package if y'all want to learn how to check out a car period i'm gonna teach y'all how to check out a car it ain't got to be at the auction and then if you want the full curriculum package i'm gonna show y'all everything that i know when it comes to buying and selling cars you know flipping cars bruce know all the tips and tricks look bruce bought this from the auction bruce ain't crazy look yeah i taught bruce too he get, the, he get the knowledge for free. I taught Bruce too. Look at this car, he's driving right now. 600 bucks, you can't beat it. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this a long, long time. So y'all already know I had to put my partner on. I'm putting y'all on too. WHDacademy.com. Make sure you check the website out. It's your boy Ray, Big Play Ray. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, man. I'm glad my car was all right. I ain't gotta spend no money. I ain't gonna spend no money. I'm gone. Peace.